itchy beard. <laughs> hey folks, welcome to the Luthier's Lair series detailing Project Natasha, which is a Gas Based Falcon Series 2, uh, being built for a Mr. Eddie Wilms in Belgium. Cool. In this episode we'll be um, starting to prepare the body blank, then getting the body blank routed, band sawed, cut, sanded into shape, ready for the actual finish that we're going to put on it. I wonder what it will be. Mmm, yes. So, hope you stay tuned and uh, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh. Hey folks, back again with the Gasbase Falcon Series 2 Natasha. Yes indeed, Natasha. Base build for Mr. Eddie Wilms and what we're going to do now is everything's marked up, the inlay is in there and we're going to start drilling away material for the neck pocket here so, our, so that our uh, router bit uh, doesn't have as much work to do and we can save the bit. So I always use a Forstner bit for this on my little drill here doesn't matter if you're not even, it's going to even out once you route it. I know that this is half an inch deep right here. Sorry, that's a burn mark. Burnt myself. Yes, indeed. Twat. Anyway, yeah, so that's half an inch deep. And that spike, the center locator in the, in the bit is another tenth on that. So that's 0.6 of an inch. The Falcon Series 2 pocket neck, pocket depth on the one and three quarter inch in depth model, which is the two in not in oak, is 0.625 of an inch or five eighths of an inch. So I drill away till I get flush with the wood, in the top of the Forstner bit. So just an example, just to show you, man, this I need a new drill for sure. You know, I'm going to get close to the template, not real close though, I don't want to drill away my template, right, and I'm just, see that's flush with the wood, put the bit back in there, and see that's flush with the wood, okay, and I'll make holes all the way down the pocket, even, even to where I'm not even going to be cutting the, the neck. Um, so that when I sort of rough band saw this out and do a neck fitting, I'll know exactly whether the neck fits or not, what adjustments need to be made. There should not be any adjustments needing to be made. And each time you do this drill with a forstner bit, clean this crap up, you know. Or get your shop vac out and do it. I didn't put the shop vac on. But I'm going to do that. And let's get all this perforated, shall we? Yeah, okay, different angle now. Uh, I already have the router set up with a half inch bit in it, um, with a nice half inch bit. And the bearing on it that I've got for the template, it fits the radius right here in the neck pocket perfectly. I've made one shallow pass just to make sure I'm okay. As you can see, that looks like a Swiss cheese in here. That's going to get leveled out. Now let's just make one pass to show you how I'm doing this. Let's dig in a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Headphone users, please beware. The thing in with routing is take thin passes. Don't try and gouge out the whole pocket at once. You're going to screw it up if you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Be right back uh, with our finished neck pocket. Awesome. There you go. 
Night Pocket now routed out, very nice, down to 0.625 of an inch, 5 eighths of an inch, I don't know what that is in millimetres. Oh god, my mental arithmetic is not as good as it used to be. I'll tell you in a minute, if you're interested, it is 50, uh, nearly 16 millimetres, okay? Alright, now what we do is we're going to get the bandsaw and we'll cut out a swath of here, you know, and we'll do it using the back of the body, of course I mapped the back of the body, the outline of it onto the back and the front so I know where I'm cutting. I'll, I'll cut out a swath here and we'll put the neck in, see if it fits nicely. And if it does, we're good to go on, do everything else. Okay? So, let's go do that. Okay, so we've cut out a piece that will represent the neck pocket here. There we go. And that's the actual shape, it's going to come to there. But the, I've left enough in there that the neck taper should fit, should be extremely tight, in fact it should really press all the way down right now although I have shaped the neck and the pocket's fine but I'm allowing for finishing and stuff, oh wow oh oh man, oh shit yeah tight as hell really, really tight, that's not even all the way down you know so some stuff kind of needs to come off but I think it's fine as it is because you know here here's a short distance but it's bang in the center I mean absolutely smack bang in the center here on my center line with the truss rod channel oh whoa yeah success okay so now what we do is we can go on and we'll write out these pockets for the pickups and the control cavity and we'll be good. We do the battery uh, ones on the back after that. So it's all writing from here on. Should take about an hour to get all that done. Maybe less. The templates hold up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Looking good so far, people. Fantastic, yeah. Hey folks, told you it was just going to be a jiffy. You know, a little jiffy. And uh, of course, all this is right way down now. Everything's okay. Do the battery boxes later. Actually, I like to do them when I've bullnosed natural shape, so I know it's precise. The template tells me so. But I like to be really accurate with this stuff so what we're going to do now is we're going to drill holes through here I don't know if I've even filmed this part before so let's go and do it why are they drilling holes through there? well the pickups are electronic and they have leads and they need to go into the control cavity to connect up to all the little tricky things that are in there mm. so what we do, we put a cloth down, I mean, I haven't even finished this to its final finish, you know, and when I was writing, sometimes what happens, you get wood chips coming up, there's a very slight chipping going on there, and of course I'll get level sand and it'll go away, and that's fine, but I still put a cloth down here, why do I put a cloth down, well, I'll show you. Because I'm going in at a shallow angle, right? If I do that, I'm going to get a trench all the way through the wood. Okay? If I'm not careful. So, let's just start this off. Like so. Always, guys, always remember to pull out, okay? Because 
you don't want it burning up with friction. Uh, that's uh, double entendres abound there, but no way. Okay. Again. And hold this against your body, against the force that is being applied by the drill bit, and there it goes, see that? There it goes. And do you hear that hitting the wood? No mark, not a mark. Now that's just a pilot hole. I'll do the same for the neck pick up here, neck pick up cavity. Flatten out as much as I can. What do we do now? Well, we get a bigger bit. Get a bigger bit than that. See, aren't they awesome? That's really awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing how they can uh, withstand the force that you're putting on them. But may the force be with you. Here's the bigger bit. We'll put that in the drill. And we're going to go through the pilot hole. Okay. Yep. Cloth again. And finds its way through pretty easily. Now, <coughs> don't ever do that, right? Now, on this, the neck pickup, I think this drill bit's going to be fine because the LED leads, the power leads for LEDs are going to be coming through here and then through there and there. These get drilled kind of last, actually. And I've made the neck, but let's do this one too. You need to go, don't do that, just tickle it through, it'll be fine. I ain't gonna blow that, that's for sure. Okay. That's how you do that. Now we've got leads there. And with the soap bar pickups, I've got screws that go here and here. They'll just sit nicely. Okay, Hulk mad. No, he's not really. <coughs> you can see, just rough bang sawed the shape out. It'll get sanded into shape properly. Leaving the pencil marks on the body, of course, just a millimetre away from the pencil marks, except for in here. That's very hard to do in a bandsaw. You have to. Eh, 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 eh. But let's see how the neck fits now, shall we? Alright. Oh. Oh. oh, God, it's not even going all the way back. That's, that's great. I think that's pretty good. Still got a bit to go there. Yeah. Oh. Yes, perfect. Very good. So, what's next? Well, the next step is to start just sanding this in shape, getting the body shaped properly. You know, um, you know, it's all shaped up. And the top, and the bottom. We're going to go down to like 220 grit all over the body before we put it on the uh, routing table to uh, round the edges off, which is much more accurate and much quicker than doing it by hand. I used to do it by hand, do the rounding off and the edges and stuff, but you know. I fire it through the routing table, round off the edges, and then sand it after that, and it gives a much better result. It really does. It looks much better. But this, 
freaking love this walnut. This is really standing out to me, this walnut. Don't you think? And this is just... Oh, God. Oh. That's great. I love to see that. I love to see that. Of course, these pieces will come away. That's thin. I'll get sanded off. Then I've got to try the neck again because it curls in here. So you'll watch for that, you know. You gotta watch for it. You gotta watch for it. So, okay, let's go. So, folks, this is the Gasby's Falcon Series 2 Natasha for Eddie Wilms, who I'm just talking to at the moment, actually. I've got this all jigged up to route out the cutout for the tuning controls at the back. Just nice straight pieces of wood all level. I get the router here and it's just a case of cutting around here to a depth predetermined which is 0.75 of an inch. So, um, huh. Eddie's just asking me uh, what colour I think the uh, his name should be in the 12th fret. Well, I'm making the LEDs red, but I'd like his name to be in blue. It would be a beautiful contrast. So I've just suggested that to him and see what he comes back with. See if he, see if he likes that idea. It would be awesome. Okay, I'm off to route this now. Okay, so the cavity here, or cut out really, not cavity, is uh, routed out to spec. It's the width of the actual bridge itself and three quarters of an inch deep. And I'll show you how that comes together. I'll just place the bridge on here. That's roughly where it goes. So it's bang on where it goes. You can see that? I just use a cloth here. I'm getting too much fingerprints on this already. <laughs> okay, and press there. You can see plenty of room for adjustment. Okay, so that's the purpose of that. Of course, the headed model doesn't have that cut out, doesn't need it, of course. And just to demonstrate that, take the bridge out of the way. Here's the headed model, already has the comfort carve and the belly carve in it which I have to do to Eddie's base next. I'll put that on there, and as you can see. It doesn't have that, it doesn't need that at all. See what I mean? So, it's all looking kind of hunky-dory right now. And uh, on to the next, which will be getting out the angle grinder to rough out the uh, comfort carve and the belly carve, and then we'll sand that into proper specification. Brilliant. Oh, today's Thanksgiving by the way, and I'm working. And I'm cooking a turkey as well, so I hope I don't burn it. Okay folks, this is the comfort carve that has been ground out using my angle grinder. Uh, it just needs to be flattened properly and finished. You can see it's a little high here, but it's meant to curve the way towards the back like that. And we sort of flattened out a bit here. So you can see a nice angle on it. Here. And of course the belly carve as well. Same thing with that. You can see there it is there. Same thing with that. I'll be sanding that into better shape and then you might notice the pencil marks here and here that's the uh, battery cavities right there they will need to be routed out now so I'm going to do that once that's done um, once that's done hello yes once that's done the body will be ready to be sanded down to probably about 320 uh, and then we'll put sand and sealer on it some grain filler and it will be ready 
to finish. And uh, we do some sort of nice finish on this um, a red colour, probably nitrocellulose finish on this. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's get out in these battery cavities. And then once we've done the body, we'll concentrate back onto the neck again and get the LEDs installed and get the neck clamped together and shaped. Awesome. Yes, well, okay. Battery cavities have been done, as you can see. There and there. And now it's just time to start sanding. Uh, we'll get the whole body down to like 80 grit first. Yeah, and there's the, you know, get all the pencil marks off, get the surface absolutely level. Figure in the uh, calves a bit better. And then from there, we'll go from 80 to like 150 to 220 to 320 and maybe 400. And then we'll be ready for the finish. Which I plan to start um, either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, today is Thanksgiving, by the way. I think I mentioned that. And uh, yeah, I've got some cooking to do. But let's get this sanded first. Random orbital with 80 grit on it. And let's go. It's nice and quiet, this orbital. See that 80 really blasts through this really well, so you're nice and careful with it. Everything's still nice, and now on to figuring the uh, comfort card a bit better. get the idea, the whole body is going to get 80, 150, 220, 320, then maybe 400, we'll see. And then I'm going to explain the finish that I'm going to put on it. It's going to be awesome. Cool, let's go. <laughs> about it for part two folks it's indeed come along nicely this build um, looking forward to part three where we'll be f start to finish the body and actually we'll be putting the neck together as well 
uh, finish up the start and finish on the LED neck with Eddie's name in the 12th fret. So, looking forward to that one. In the meantime, as usual, stay safe, be good, catch you next time. Cheers folks, bye bye.